Hey folks, so the Netgear Orbi Quad Band Wi-Fi 6E router, which is part of the mesh system, is now available as a standalone unit. Now, I have the black one for the purposes of this video, but it's also available in white and the specs are identical. I suspect people's first reaction when they see this is, wow, that is one expensive router. However, for the money, you are getting a lot of top features. I would say, however, that these features are so premium that they are perhaps a little bit too extreme and overboard for most people's needs. First off, something that is probably bumping the cost up significantly is an included 10 gigabit internet port. And the chances are you do not have a 10 gigabit internet connection because that is still really quite rare, which means you're going to be paying a lot extra for a feature you're not going to be getting the most out of. However, in terms of future proofing your home network, then it might not be a bad idea to consider such because in a few years time, I'm sure we will all be looking forward to using 10 gigabit internet. And at least then your network hardware will be ready and good to go. And also included here is Wi-Fi 6E, which absolutely is a new technology that is used for today. However, it does still require any devices that want to make use of it to also be enabled with Wi-Fi 6E. Most phones at the moment are not. However, it's quite an easy upgrade for your computer if you want to enable it for Wi-Fi 6E. And the upcoming generation of phones will almost certainly have this as well. Sadly, the current generation of consoles cannot make use of the Wi-Fi 6E band. In fact, the Xbox series cannot even access Wi-Fi 6. Of course, the router is still going to be giving Wi-Fi to all of your non-6E devices. But again, if you are not getting the most out of a premium feature that is inflating the cost of the product, then is it worth it? And the other thing that really makes this Netgear system stand apart from the competition is the fact that it has quad band radio. These are the standard 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz radio bands the third band is a 6 gigahertz which is going to be for wi-fi 6e devices and they are going to have that dedicated band which will have far less interference especially if you are in a heavily populated area but as i said only devices that are enabled for wi-fi 6e will be able to connect to this band and the fourth band is a second 5 gigahertz, and this is not going to be used for any devices to connect to your network. Rather, it is used as a dedicated band for any additional Orbi satellites that you set up as part of the mesh network. This is actually a really great thing because with other mesh networks, when you add additional satellites to the wireless backhaul, they are going to be using up half the bandwidth of the radio that your other network devices want to use. However, if you're going to be running the router alone and not adding any satellites to the network, then that fourth band is kind of going to waste. And if you don't yet have any Wi-Fi 6E devices that can make use of the 6 gigahertz network, then this Orbi router is really no different to any other dual band router. However, if you do just start with the router and then find out, well, maybe you don't get a great coverage in every room of your home, then it is a really easy process to throw in an additional satellite later on. Since this is a mesh router, the technology is built in and you are able to do that. Many other standard routers are going to be a lot more finicky when it comes to extending your network if you need to do so. I know it sounds in this video like I've tried to maybe put you off getting this and that's really not the case. I'm just worried that a lot of people will get this hoping for faster internet only to discover that a lot of the features here they can't actually use. However, if you can use them or if you are just interested in future proofing your network for the years to come, then there is a lot on offer here. Indeed, some of this technology just simply isn't available in competing routers. And that's really what I wanted to share with you folks. So thank Thanks for watching.